As we come to the end of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, one of the most visible and talked about cancers, we ironically enter into another few ever mention. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, the leading cause of cancer deaths each year by far. And with us today is Ray Rickert, the husband of Jody Lou Rickert, who died of her disease just a few months ago at the age of 36. Ray, thank you so much. I know it's emotional for you to be here and we appreciate it. Jody would be here herself if, you know, she could. Your story is really shocking to a lot of people. She was diagnosed at the age of 34. Yeah, she literally went in with a cough, just, uh, you know, one of those stubborn coughs and ended up walking out with cancer. It was a total shock. Never smoked, you know, just a total shock. And then the two and a half years or three years that she was battling the disease, what, what did you go through as a family? We have some photos that illustrate some of the family moments that you were able to capture, but can you sum that part of your life up? We began living with no regrets, you know, doing <laughs> everything you wanted to as much as you could. It was, you know, tough times, but trying to make the best out of them. A lot of people don't talk about lung cancer. Why do you think that is? There's a big stigma, you know, and Jody, that's why I'm here. Jody would be here, like you said. Um, anybody can get lung cancer. It's, you don't have to smoke. Um, certainly that doesn't help, but nobody deserves it. And, yeah. you know, that, that's why I'm here. That was crucial to Jody was to share her story, you know, and get it out there to let people know that this is a concern of everybody's. Because it was such a shock and so unexpected for both of you to get the diagnosis. Completely, yeah. Do you, is another reason that you're here because lung cancer, you know, deaths are, they surpass when you add breast, you know, you add all these together, more people die of lung cancer, so they can't be here to share their story. Is that why we don't hear about it as well and why you are really now leading this charge to raise awareness? Yes, it, it, it's something, you know, that the statistics show, I mean, lung cancer is, it's a very deadly disease and it's amazing to see some of the statistics when you go out there if you get diagnosed with lung cancer of course the first place it goes is the internet and you start looking at statistics and of course you get depressed but mm -hmm. you just we try to you know you got to stay positive and like I told Jody you know you could be that one in a million so let's just you know keep going and she passed away April 28th yes how are you doing riding out the storm you know you have a beautiful daughter yeah, she's uh, the light of our life, you know. She keeps us all going, and uh, there's a lot of Jody in her, so. You can tell in her face, really. Her, she's here today, not obviously on the set, but as soon as I saw her, I thought, wow, she looks a lot like Jody. What is the, the lasting, the take-home message, the lasting impression you want to leave on people at home who are watching you to just open your heart today? To... Open your eyes, don't look the other way, you know. I mean, I know lung cancer is unpopular and you think if you don't smoke, you're not gonna get it, but, but you've, you could. It's, it's everybody's worry and we need to raise funds. And that's what Jody's, right up to the day she died, she, she wanted to bring. She worked with Russ Austin at the UW Foundation, established the Jody Lou Lung Cancer Fund. And we had our first annual walk run um, back this past June. It coincides with her birthday that weekend and it was tremendous the turnout we we had over 300 people um, raised over $31,000 and that's all going through Jody's fund to the UW Paul Carboni Comprehensive Center Cancer Center mm -hmm. where there's a creating hope fundraising campaign right now that every dollar raised gets matched by the state so it's great that you know I know that through your passion a lot of good things are going to come in the future Ray, thank you so much. We really appreciate your being here. And we do want to let everybody know that, that all throughout November, 5 o'clock on Tuesdays, we are going to feature stories that surround lung cancer and the fight. And we're also going to have a task force, a new task force that Ray is a part of, that we're going to talk about to raise awareness and research dollars for the disease. So we hope you'll join us Tuesdays at 5 throughout November. And if you would like to learn more about Jody's story or how you can help in the fight against lung cancer, log on to our web channel, NBC15.com, and click on News Links. We'll be right back.